dear students in this session i'll be discussing about microtome what is microtome and what are the different types of microtomes and what are the application of microtome so what is a microtome the word microtome it has arose from the greek words micros meaning small and temne meaning to cut and this microtome is a tool used to cut extremely thin slices of material known as sections okay that is this is to cut this uh, this tool is used to cut extremely thin slices of a material and this produces this after this uh, cutting it produces sections and we call this procedure sectioning and it is very important in microscopy this microtomes are used in microscopy because in microscopy we require extremely thin sections to view the structures the minute structures so microtomes are very important in microscopy for the sample preparation it allows for sample preparation to be observed under the microscope light microscope or transmission electron microscope in electron microscope so microtome arise the word arise from the uh, greek uh, word uh, micro means meaning small and temne meaning to cut so it is a precision instrument designed to cut uniformly thin sections of an object which we want to observe under the microscope it is used to cut uniformly thin sections to be observed under the microscope light microscope or electron microscope for electron microscope we require extremely thin sections and those uh, samples which can uh, which are uh, prepared for electron microscope that can be used uh, to be uh, to for the observation under light microscope also so this is the extremely thin sections taken from a microtome this is a microtome and you can see extremely thin sections formed uniformly thin sections formed from the microtome so uh, the specimens the large specimens or whole mounds of the specimens that cannot expose the internal structures and the spatial arrangements so we require the sections of these specimens large specimens for example a minute capillary we cannot take the whole mo whole mount of this capillary and look under the microscope we require the section of this capillary to look into this tissue structure of this uh, uh, capillary so for that we need to we will go for sectioning of this Uh, material or object that is to be viewed under the microscope so tissue sectioning it is very important in histological technique techniques that we, that is when we study the histology of a tissue this tissue sectioning is very important because without extremely thin sections we won't be able to study the histology or histochemistry of a uh, tissue and the free hand sectioning of biological materials often provide sections which are too thick to be visualized when we use hand and take sections it will be too thick we won't be able to get uh, uh, very thin sections using free hand sectioning moreover the sections taken with the help of hands they will be non uniform and it will be very delicate to be handled so there are so many shortcomings for the free hand sectioning and to overcome this we are using microtomes and several different types of microtomes are available that have been designed to suit specific purposes these different microtomes include sledge microtome rocking microtome rotary microtome ultra microtomes cryostats or cryo microtome and these microtomes can be categorized into two microtomes in which specific specimen remains stationary okay the specimens specimen remains stationary and what moves is the cutting knife the knife will be moving but the specimen removes stationary example is fledged microtome and another micro, another category is where 
in my in microtomes where the knife is stationary and the specimen will be moving across a knife which is stationary the knife will not be moving but the specimen will be moving across this knife example rocking microtome and rotary microtome so here in this uh, this is the schematic representation of the procedure of microtomy you can see this is the microtome specimen block and specimen holder can be seen then the knife this is the block and the, the, that is this this area is enlarged this arrow mark is shown here that is the, that particular area of the microtome is enlarged and shown here you can see the block where the specimen is fixed and the knife at the bottom region and a cut section a, a, a section which is formed that is marked as cut section and on the microscopic slide how we see these sections it will be like this actually this uh, specimen will be embedded in a wax that will be embedded in a wax so when we cut the specimen the sections will be formed along with this wax so what is a microtome these are machines that cut extremely thin sections from a sample for applications in histology or pathology and they use special metal glass or diamond plates depending upon the type of specimens and the desired thickness what thickness we need the blade will be differing like a metal blade glass blade or diamond blade then it consists the microtome consists of a blade holding unit with a blade holder and clamped blade the object clamp an advancing mechanism so that this uh, specimen is pushed forward that is the use of advancing mechanism and a mechanism for adjust, adjusting the section thickness we can adjust the uh, thickness of the section according to our purpose we can decrease or increase the section uh, the thickness of the section using a knob so these are the essential parts of microtome so first about the sledge microtome sledge microtome is used to cut thin sections of wooden materials for various purposes the image shows a sledge microtome this image is that of a sledge microtome and this microtome can yield sections of thickness 20 microns and above so a block of wood approximately 1 cm in cross section and about 2 cm long is held in the clamp so when we take the sections of the wood we will uh, take the specimen uh, the size will be 1 cm in cross section and about 2 cm long and that is uh, placed in the clamp uh, which holds this specimen precisely there and uh, and it will be against the razor it will be placed against the razor or the blade so what is a razor here the razor is a wedge shaped knife with sharp cutting edge and the knife is fitted horizontally on a slidey groove upon which it can move back and forth this uh, knife can be moved back and forth the uh, block of wood that will be held precisely on a clamp against the razor and this razor will be moving back and forth it will be sliding we can slide this knife back and forth as the knife strikes against the block it cuts a thin slice of it and the level of this knife can be adjusted by turning a graduated head so that we can uh, predetermine the thickness of the section okay, and, and a, a graduated head can be turned to adjust the thickness we can predetermine the thickness of the sections by adjusting the level of the knife how we will adjust the level of the knife by um turning a graduated head so this is the picture of a sledge microtome i will show you the working of a sledge microtome now you 
you can see the sections forming the person is uh, uh, taking the sections with the uh, rod or a brush you can see the person taking the sections next is rocking microtome this rocking microtome is a simple device that is operated manually okay this is also operated manually as this rich microtome and here it is it works by moving a handle forward and backward over a over a disc a handle is moved forward and backward and here the specimen moves against a stationary knife here the knife is stationary in sledge microtome we saw that the knife uh, the person was moving the knife and the specimen was stationary but here the knife is stationary and the specimen will be moving i'll i'll show the working resetting it so it's got all its travel available next time you use it this is a this is the working of a rocking microtome The thickness can be adjusted. You can see the graduations. Six. Yes. Six. So in all the microtome, there will be some mechanism to adjust the thickness of the sections. There will be some knob, or a knurling knob, which can be rotated and uh, to adjust the thickness of the sections which are to be formed. Here the knife is stationary. You can see the knife is placed station stationary. That uh, yellow colored or buff colored uh, uh, material is the knife, and the specimen is moving. Specimen which is embedded in the wax, paraffin wax, it is moving. And the sections are uniform sections. Uh, sections are formed. Here a handle is moved back and forth. The actual section of the specimen will, will be there at the middle of that uh, thin slice that you see. Actually, this specimen is embedded inside that wax. So, the actual section.